everyone hope you're all well so welcome back to my channel first of all and if you guys are new make sure you guys subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate it right so today's vlog I'm not really sure what I'm doing I'm just gonna show you what I do um, it's a Friday today by the way so Jumma Mubarak and also it is the last day and for their East for the kids Easter break so they're gonna have two weeks um, holiday after today so they end the school today at 3 15 by the way they had a non-uniform day today so Asia chose her own outfit she chose this pink kameez it's a really old kameez that her grandma gave her from Bangladesh and you know what I just couldn't say no I was like you know what yes go on wear it because she was really looking forward to wearing that and the same with this beautiful frock that dress that I bought from TJ TK Maxx but yes um, so I'm just gonna do some cooking it's early in the morning I've done some filming actually as soon as I woke up the kids went to school I did some filming for my Instagram channel so I am a beauty blogger on Instagram so make sure you guys check me out on Instagram I'll leave my link down in the description description box um, so yeah, anyways, um, it's so beautiful and sunny right now. It was raining like crazy in the morning. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to do some cooking and I'll show you what I'm going to cook now. Right, so you guys, I am going to be cooking some lamb shank pieces here that I have. It's going to be like a really juicy lamb shank curry with potatoes. And I've got my big handy out got some oil I've got some garlic and ginger some onions and salt and all the other little spices like tenzfata elasi and dalsini I'm gonna bung everything up in the handy and just let it um, cook really well so let's add the oil first um, I just kind of like guesstimate not gonna lie so I think that's like half a cup of oil Yes, just a little bit more and we are going to add loads of onions and I know I get a lot of hate I've had a lot of hate in the past about using frozen diced onions like I don't understand why people are so fussed about me using frozen onions to me it tastes exactly the same I don't know if you guys have tried it it actually does taste exactly the same and if it's making my life easier, why not? Do you know what I'm saying? Just why not? And you know what? I am a super, super busy mom at home. I work from home um, because, you know, I'm a blogger on on social media. And, um, yeah, if it works for me, it will work for a lot of moms out there that don't know that this is the best way forward, guys use frozen onions in your cooking so I'm gonna bung the lamb shank pieces in here as well I give this a really good mix and check if I need a bit more on I might need a bit more onion right so I've added the garlic and ginger test fata dalsini and LRC in here and I'm gonna give it a really good mix and what I'm gonna do is cover it up and let it cook and once I see that it's looking a little bit dry um, I'm gonna also add some boiling water so I'm gonna boil a kettle of water so it's ready
okay as you can see um this has been cooking for like about 40 minutes 45 minutes for a really long time and each time the water dried up i added hot boiling water and now it's dried up for like the third time now and what i'm gonna do you can see that the onions and everything's all gone mushy and everything's um cooked really well so i'm gonna add all the spices to um the curry so first up we have colloid and one big tablespoon we next have coriander i'm gonna add one big tablespoon of that we have chili powder i'm gonna add like a flat um tablespoon of that and we've also got zira powder add one big spoon and lastly we've got curry powder actually that's not the last one i'm gonna add paprika as well so the curry powder one big tablespoon so a bit of uh, one big tablespoon of everything basically and i'm also gonna add a bit of paprika so i've added all the spices i'm also gonna add some tomato puree 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 about two tablespoons of that and I'm going to give this a really good mix now. Okay, so I've given it a really good mix. What I'm going to do is add the potatoes. And I will also add lots of shida. And then I'm going to cover this up and let this um, boil. Boil? You know what I mean. Cook on really high gas. Okay, you guys. The potatoes are fully cooked. The curry is fully done looks absolutely delicious and it's going to taste really banging i can tell um it smells really really nice so i don't have any coriander so i am going to add this to it which is metifata um dried up fenugreek leaves i think they're called what i want to do is just sprinkle some over and this acts like a substitute for coriander and there we are done ready to eat oh my god this looks so delicious I don't know what I'm going to have it with now. Kuraka. Excuse me. Right, so instead of having it with rice, I am going to have it with a wholemeal wrap. So this acts like a chapati, sapati. And what I do, I just put it on a open, open stove like this. And just heat it up. Pakistani style okay my loves I am going to eat this yummy food now uh, my husband's behind the camera so if you hear any crazy munching noises it's because he is eating as well I don't believe you let's try this out how is it mm, nice great <laughs> nice yeah, it's really hot. It's hot as well. Ah. Done it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hmm. 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 Zemos 
little bit. So what they usually do with them, I think you tank meat at restaurants to throw it away. Why? I have no idea. another piece of bone and it looks so good this is what the bone looks like oh my god shake that shake that <laughs> oh, it's so hot shigurum mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know shigurum tabishi bishigurum tabishi moto I love the fat inside the bone yeah. my the bone marrow is the best bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like this.
Hey my lovelies, I've just had a really nice hot bath after my workout. I did 20 minutes of running, well not running, it was more like power walk slash jogging slash sprinting. Um, more power walk, I'll be honest with you. But that was amazing, that cardio workout was so good. It got me really, really sweaty, my heart rate went up really high and it was just a really good workout and right now it is 6 5 oh my god i feel like it's 8 o'clock 8 p.m but it's only 6 p.m i've done my workout i've done the cooking i fed the kids the kids are wearing their pajamas i'm wearing my pajamas i've had a bath and i am ready to just knock out i'm so so tired like wow i'm gonna do my skincare quickly in front of you guys i'm gonna use the Clear Skin Acne Therapy Facial Toning Mist by FW Beauty. And this is really nice and easy to use because it's in a spray bottle, which I really like. You don't have to faff around with cotton pads and stuff. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. So yeah, my goal is to lose some weight which is why i am working out by the way um a lot of people say to me oh you look fine you don't look like you need to lose weight but actually i do i weigh currently i am weighing 67 kg and um during lockdown it's just with each lockdown my weight's been gaining 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 and i can see it i can feel it in my body i feel really sluggish especially in the mornings i get really bad headaches because i'm not eating properly uh, well i am eating but i'm not eating healthy foods um i'm not working out you know it's just my body can feel it so it, i reckon it's really important to definitely work out <laughs> it doesn't matter it, if it if your body is looking slim or not working out is just generally really really important for your mind body and soul all right um i'm also going to use the saffron skin quench this is pure hyaluronic acid with saffron infused with it which helps to brighten your skin i'm going to get two pumps and just apply this and i really like this it's like a really nice gel formula this helps to plump out my skin so it's like an anti-aging serum so it gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles which i really like 
so yeah like i was saying um my goal weight would be 60 kg and by the way in the past i did go down to 53 kg this was after i had asiya my eldest and after like a year of having her i went on this crazy fitness routine and also healthy eating and i lost so much weight it was brilliant i remember and i went all the way down to 53 kg within like three months it didn't take that long i did really well and then i got pregnant with my second child and i put i didn't put a crazy amount of weight i'm not gonna lie but you know i obviously wasn't 53 kg um and then I lost it again after I gave birth to Naseba, my second one. And then I've had Mustafa and I've just been on a steady weight. Like I'm kind of okay with this weight, but it's just, it scares me thinking that I'm going to, it's just going to increase and increase and it's going to get out of hand, if you know what I mean. So I've come to 67 kg. I'm scared I'm going to get to 70. Then I'm going to get to 75 do you know what I'm saying? And I am five foot four, by the way, for reference, I'm five foot four inches tall. So I'm not super, super tall, but I'm tall for a Bengali. Yes. Okay, next I am going to use the saffron under eye night to repair. This helps to get rid of dark circles under your eyes. And it also helps to plump out your skin. So it helps to get rid of um, fine lines and wrinkles, which I love. apply some to my lips so yeah my I need to lose another 7 kg so when I first started by the way when I first got my um, treadmill which was when was it about a week ago I weighed myself and I was let me double check because I've got it on my Fitbit I um, basically put it down on my Fitbit app where is it? Oh, there. So, my weight on Mon March the 19th was 67.7 kg. And then I went down to 67.3. Then I went down to 67.1. And today, when I weighed myself this morning, I was 67 kg. So, I've lost 7 pounds, I believe. Is that what it is? I think I've lost it seven pounds so that's actually really really good there's progress there you know and i've been eating loads of fruits by the way so at night what i do instead of getting crisps and chocolates upstairs whilst watching a netflix i get loads of like little satsumas you know those clementines uh or i cut up oranges you know the big ones i put a little bit of salt and um chili in it oh so nice and also I get um, grapes, I get um, blueberries, love them. Um, or I get a banana, you know, I get some sort of fruit upstairs and I'll just eat the fruit, you know. Okay, so next I'm going to eat, uh, eat, apply Bakuchi Gold Elixir by FW Beauty. This is a retinol alternative. So someone did ask me on one of my other vlogs um, if this is suitable for pregnancy this is suitable for pregnancy because this isn't a retinol product it's a retinol alternative so alternative means basically it's a it's something that acts like a retinol but it doesn't have the harmful side effects of a retinol because retinol you're not meant to use whilst you're pregnant or when you're breastfeeding so this is absolutely safe all the products by fw beauty are safe to use during pregnancy and breastfeeding um they are also halal all of them are 100 percent halal so um which i absolutely love so you can like go and pray with them on you know you, you don't have anything at the back of your head thinking oh no this has alcohol or something none of them have like any sort of ingredient that will nullify your wudu which is brilliant Oh, and I love this retinol alternative, by the way. The Bakita Gold is one of my favourite nighttime oils. Mainly because this is such a nourishing oil. It really helps to, like, quench that thirst. My dry skin. 
and it's helped to really brighten up my skin it's helped to like get rid of all those fine lines and wrinkles absolutely love it so that is my nighttime skincare routine done and a little bit of weight loss talk if you've got any questions about weight loss or anything um just comment down in the comment section <laughs> does that make sense yeah just leave a comment guys um i'll try and answer your question normally i'm not actually an expert on anything you know nutrition or anything food wise but i do like i love vegetables i love fruits which is a bonus and all i know is drink a lot of water guys that is key number one key and saying that i'm gonna drink some water yes right so i'm gonna say bye and end this vlog i am so tired and i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog make sure you subscribe like and leave a comment down below i would absolutely love it and let me know what you thought of this vlog bye